name is Patrick Webb and we're continuing to discuss the chemistry of plaster and heritage building with a consideration in part 11 of natural cement. Well, we've already discussed natural hydraulic lines. Natural cements are, are very similar geologically. Um, what happened in the case of natural cement is not only do you have an infiltration of um, active silica, but you also have uh, an infiltration of clay with active alumina. So this is usually a clay marl, is what they call it, a clay that is kind of infiltrated into a limestone that has these characteristics. And um, the chemical composition of it basically looks like something similar to what we've seen before. You have a limestone, the calcium carbonate, but now the, the clay comes in, that's added to the uh, alumina, and then as before, we'll have the uh, silicon dioxide that's active. So during the uh, process of, of manufacture, um, we are going to heat to a pretty high temperature now. We're, we're getting to very high temperatures, uh, 1200 degrees Celsius, which is approximately, it's in the 2150 range Fahrenheit. And uh, what that produces is, as before, we have a, some measure of free, um, I'm sorry, uh, calcium, calcium oxide, some, some uh, free lime, uh, quick lime, but not as much as we did before, because now it's combining both with the silica and the alumina. Well, the silica is going to give us the sim similar um, cal dicalcium silicates as we have in natural hydraulic lime, but we start to begin to see um, certain um, calcium alumina compounds. So we have like tricalcium alumina, um, then there's C4AF, uh, it's like an alumina ferra, ferra meaning uh, iron compound, and there's perhaps like a dozen of these type of alumina compounds that happen in this composition, but uh, those are the two uh, probably that are generally the most predominant ones. Well, what does that mean for us as, as uh, masons and plasters working in with these heritage materials? What kind of plasters can we create with them? Well, um, its properties is one of its main properties for natural cement is that it has a very, very rapid set, at least an initial take. So that's coming from the, uh, the calcium uh, aluminates that are created. So sometimes that set can be as fast as 10 to 20 minutes, which would make it really, really useful for casting, uh, for running things in place. Actually, to do that type of work, sometimes you even have to retard it. Um, it can be used as a regular cement. In fact, it was the uh, cement of choice before the advent of um, ordinary Portland cement. And, uh, for example, the uh, Erie Canal is, was made with, uh, not the Erie, the uh, Panama Canal was made with um, natural cement and the base of the Statue of Liberty, uh, the footings for the Brooklyn Bridge. You know, basically uh, most of the, um, the, the sea works, lighthouses, and that type of thing, of things of the um, 18th and the you know, early 19th century, you can almost uh, assume that they were made with uh, natural cement. Also, um, a property that is common uh, is to speed up the set of other materials, like uh, natural hydraulic lime, for instance. And that gets into the modern day specifications. So beyond the casting, um, if you need uh, to add some compressive strength uh, to your natural hydraulic lime, um, then natural cement can provide that. Perhaps you need to build a new construction setting, you might need to build courses more quickly, and that will give you the additional uh, immediate strength that you need to do that. Um, greater erosion, even than uh, natural hydraulic, uh, erosion resistance than natural hydraulic lime provides, and then that early frost resistance, basically to kick the natural hydraulic lime. And then the cycle continues to follow, and it's late curing, um, because it's basically made of a similar materials that of natural hydraulic lime. So that's why specifically they work well together. Another um, great characteristic is that these aluminous cements are uh, known for their resistance to sulfate attack. 
So that can be good in certain environments, like particularly on, on seaside, and that's why I mentioned lighthouses before, that uh, sulfates um, don't, expanding salts can't get in there and, and break the mortar or the, uh, the render apart. So we'll consider next uh, the cycle. It gets even a little bit more complicated than NHL, but we'll, we'll give it a go.